Go with you, like okay. ide- identifying, right? Because, dude, everyone sees you, and you're just some white guy, right? You're a skater. You got your skateboard over here. Look at your puka beads or whatever you got going on, dude. Like, you're, you know, I mean, like, you're, you're, just, you're not Hispanic, and yet you are, okay? So what is, when do you, when are you allowed to be, like, how do you wrestle with that? How do you, how do you work with that in your life? Like, when do you allow yourself to say, like, hey, I'm Hispanic, and when do you not, like, what, what's, some of the, how, what's some of the thinking in your head? Um, well, I'll say that, like, as of late, like, for me to come up here and pronounce my name, like, Sebastian, like, like that's, like, something I never do. Like, so that, I guess, is, um, like, some growth that I've had because, like, growing up, um, I would never really, like, pronounce my name right or, like, want to, like, try to, like, speak Spanish with people, like, I don't know. I, I, because? Because I felt like I maybe didn't belong in a sense. Um, but you don't belong to the Hispanic community? Yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah. Okay. I, I think that's probably you, a good summary of how I felt. Okay. I and, think part of that is because yeah. of me not growing up in a like fully Spanish speaking household because only my mom spoke Spanish so like we didn't really speak Spanish I would speak I would be spoken to in Spanish if I went to my abuela's house but like if I'm just at home my dad's not going to understand what's going on if my mom's talking okay. in Spanish so like it, that that would be rare so and, and then like because of that like I don't I think also part of it was um like me like kind of not really having like a clear understanding of what it means to be like Latino or like Hispanic and like thinking that like because of like that aspect of my upbringing Uh like uh that it's like not a valid aspect of like who I am and my ancestry. Okay so it's like it's it's a you're 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 half Hispanic or or you're half white. I mean you're is your mom light-skinned? Well yeah, no, m- well, my mom's white. Like, I have indigenous family, Got on, like, in Argentina, but I'm not exactly, like, sure, m- like, what, how I would, like, refer to them and, like, what cousin or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my mom is white. And, okay, got um, you. So she's white Ar- Argentinian. Yes. Okay, yes. okay. I, so, I'm, like, fully white. But yeah, like, but she, no, exactly. But she's nonetheless Hispanic. Yes. Okay, so, look, who is it, who's in your head when you want to claim kind of connection to this part of you, right, who is in your head telling you you can't do that? I don't, I don't really think it's, like, any person. It's probably, it's just myself, like, okay. just, you know, it, because it's all, like, it comes down to shame at the end of the day, and, like, we invent shame, and, you know, like, if I want to sit here and, like, feel bad about, like, not being fluent in Spanish or like whatever, like pronouncing my name a certain uh-huh. way. That's like all things that I choose at the end of the day to, to do feel. and like Dude. block awesome, myself man. from. So, Dude. Awesome, man. It is about shame. But it also is this world in which so many people judge and judge us. And when, you know, people are trying to really connect to whatever the roots are and other people judge. So, um... Tice, yeah. How about you? Um, I've never neglected my Spanish heritage. It's uh-huh. been incorporated like throughout my whole life. But um, my dad is more tan, and my mom is more of a fair complexion. Uh-huh. So uh, some of my family members would call me gringa, which means white girl in Spanish. And I feel like that's only that's like the only like reason I would feel like shameful for my heritage what okay but okay so question for you is how to what degree do you fully embrace like for example you're right here you are right here sitting in the class saying like yeah I'm Latina or I'm Hispanic okay do you do you embrace that a hundred percent like oh yeah I'm fully yeah when someone asks me what my heritage is I tell them I'm Latina Uh uh-huh and how and how is your Spanish? Um, it's pretty good. Both all my family members speak Spanish, and I'm taking Spanish right now. So, I'm 
not that fluent, but I could say I can have like hold a conversation with someone. So, so in your family, do, do people switch back and forth between Spanish and English? Yeah, they do. And how did you not become fluent, completely fluent in Spanish up till now? Um, because primarily English was spoken like uh-huh. from day to day, but when family members like my grandma or something like uh-huh. that would come over, like they only speak Spanish, so they would like flip flop between both languages. Uh huh. Okay. So, which is one of the things that we see with all with all immigrants, like first generation, you're going to speak the language. Second generation, people are going to start to lose it by the third generation. The kids are going like, yeah, I don't want to learn that language. Like, that's the other language. I want to be part of this new country that we're in and this new place that we are. And so it's harder to get there. And that's true across the board with immigrants anywhere in the world. Okay. So for you, like, whereas Sebast- Sebastian is, dude, it's a cool, it's much cooler to pronounce it Sebastian. Sebastian is like, that just sucks. So Sebastian, dude, own that shit, dude. Um, own that name. So for him, he's like kind of struggling to find that. But you, how is, do you speak Spanish? Do you under, you understand? Like how much Spanish do you understand? I'm a lot better at understanding Spanish than speaking. Better at understanding than speaking. Because Wait. A lot of Spanish yes, people speak, especially in New York, dude. Especially when you get into like with Puerto Ricans and Dominicans, man. You lived in a Puerto Rican neighborhood. Dude, they don't even speak Spanish in Puerto, Puerto Ricans. Dude, Puerto Ricans, the, I don't know what, they speak some language that's kind of like Spanish, but it's like sped up 300%. And it's, it's awesome. It's amazing, right? Okay, I'm just having fun with Puerto Ricans. Okay, so for you, you're like, yeah, I got this. I'm Latina. Okay, Do you, are you ever questioned on it by people? Do, have, you ever, have you been questioned? Um, yeah, sometimes people think I am European, so. Uh-huh. Do people ever, have you, have you come up against people who saying like, hey, you can't really claim your Hispanic identity because of X, Y, or Z? No, I haven't. Okay, cool. Like well, that. Hey, Alana, how about you? What, what's your, how do you work on this? I said like, how much do you embrace your Jamaican side? And you said, uh, I don't get to all the time. Like, what, what is it? Um... I think black history was mostly brought up in my household. Um, So I had some introductions to my Jamaican roots. I always knew I was, but I've only been there twice. But I have some Jamaican family members in the States that I'll talk to, like my grand aunt. The rest are in Jamaica. And so um, I think the most connected I feel to my Jamaican heritage is like through the food that I might prepare at home or like some mu- the music that I listen to. But for me, I think I mostly identify with my Caribbean like heritage rather than Jamaican. So more like general Caribbean heritage. Right. I feel like a greater sense of belonging, like there are more people around me who identify as Caribbean, whether it's Dominican, Puerto Rican, et cetera, than just Jamaican. And, and you are also, do you make, I make a mean jerk chicken, by the way, dog. I don't yeah. believe you. I don't know. <laughs> I, no, I, I cook a lot. Yeah, I cook a lot. Okay. I used to do cook Ethiopian. Oh, dude, I, I'm like, no, nah, I'm, ch- I'm a chef, I will say. I cook a lot of things, yeah. Uh, so, look, um, so you, so the Jamaican side for you kind of gets set aside a little bit for more of the general Caribbean side. And what's the distinction? I, I mean... In Jamaica, English is the primary language, uh-huh. whereas in the Caribbean, it's like English and Spanish. And or like in Haiti, Creole or French right. or something. And that's why, personally, I chose like to continue learning Spanish so that I would feel like a greater sense of belonging, I, like connecting to that part of my identity. Uh-huh. And that part of your identity, which is the Caribbean part of your identity. Okay, so listen, so that's actually really interesting because, so you're saying, look, your heritage is Jamaican, okay? Jamaica is Jamaican, but you're taking your identity. So this is, this is, y'all, like, so for people of African ancestry do this all the time, right? We'll take, instead of, and African Americans do this in large part because if you trace your ancestry to, the, to slavery and the slave trade, you don't necessarily know exactly where you're coming from. Although, let me show you this, or where your ancestors are from. But if you go here, 
the vast majority of slaves, so even though slaves, uh, there were slave ports in East Africa, the vast majority of people who trace their ancestry to slavery aren't African in their ancestry, really. They're West Central African. You know, you know what I mean? Africa's a big, big continent. It's a massive continent. So to say like, yeah, I'm African American, it's like, that's like saying I'm from planet Earth practically, right? But the vast majority of people who would be African American or Afro-Caribbean are actually West Central African. And the vast are very much Central Africans because the vast majority of slaves came from this area here, which is, not, which is completely different um, than the rest of Africa. I mean, you're not East African, you're not North African, you're not South African. It's just completely different. So to say African or African American, it's it's so it's so it's so like in a way like means when you think when you look at that map, you think about what it means. And there's more genetic variation and but in Africa between Africans than there are is between Africans and Europeans or Africans and Asians. So think about that, man. There is more genetic variation between people in Africa. Like so, Alana, there's more genetic variation between me and Alana than between Alana and somebody from Morocco or somebody from South Africa, right? And so like, it's a really fascinating thing. So what you're saying is, hey, um, yeah, even though my ancestry is Jamaican, I really connect with other parts of the Caribbean because ju you just choose to do that. That's just a choice. And you like Spanish. So, and you speak Spanish quite well, actually. I mean. Si, sí, pienso que sí. Yeah, no. Yeah. Ella habla muy bien. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cuando, cuando, cuando hablamos el otro día, when we were talking the other day, I just, I thought that she was Dominican because I'm like, yeah. And then when she said she was Jamaican, I'm like, yo, what, man? No, okay. But you just started learning Spanish because that just, you were connected in that way. Okay. So, which is pretty cool, right? So think about that. Like, those of us who want to make some kind of connection, Right, whether it's to Italy or wherever, man. It's a, you just make the connection that you want to make. So Alana's saying, like, yeah, I'm Jamaican, but I want to connect to other parts of the Caribbean. It's like, okay. Dude, Giancarlo, how, so how about you? Like, how do you work with this? Um, yeah, it was kind of weird. Uh, growing up, I was thinking I was, like, full Italian because of my name and then my last name. And also, being from New York, everyone was just Italian around me. There wasn't really that many uh, Spanish people there. So it was kind of hard, but then as I started growing up, I started to embrace that I was also Spanish from my mom's side. Um, my grandparents, they would only speak Spanish, very little English, and um, it was kind of hard to understand them at first, but as I grew up, them being New York, from New York and also speaking really fast, I kind of like, got a grasp of it. Yeah. Um, so it was kind of weird, but as a... Uh, as time went on, I started to lean more towards being a Spanish person because I was spending a lot more time with my Spanish side of my family. Uh -huh. But um, also on Sundays, embracing the Italian side by having early dinners and meatballs and sauce and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was kind of weird. So, okay, no, weird, no, hang on. Let's, let's stay away from weird for a second. Let's just stay in this. Like, what led you to, yo, what led you to that shift? Like, really, to say, no, this is kind of cool. I'm going to embrace, like, what, what age were you when you had the realization that, hey, wait, hang on a second, I'm Italian and I'm Hispanic? Um, or Peru, do you ever say Peruvian, by the way? Yeah, yeah, Peruvian. Okay. So, um, it definitely, when, uh, when we go out to eat, uh, I would choose to go to Peruvian restaurants over Italian restaurants because I'm, like, I'm a big steak guy. I like they, like, they know how to cook a good steak there. Yeah. The same thing with a Brazilian steakhouse. Yeah. Um, Italian food's good, but not as good as a steak. So, so do you do you identify them more as Peruvian than yeah, Hispanic? Definitely, yeah, definitely Peruvian. Uh, my 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 family's from Lima, and um, they like we communicate with each other, and they say how much they like wants to come visit them. My mom used to travel back and forth from yeah. Lima to yeah. New York, yeah, like, when she was a kid. Um, not anymore. Uh, my grandma still goes to Lima. Uh huh. In the winter, I mean, when it's the winter here and summer there, yeah, she yeah, doesn't yeah. like the cold. Yeah. Um, so you've been to Lima? 
No, I'm actually going this summer. Dude, yeah. awesome, man. It's a cool city. Uh, okay, so you, so are you comfortable, so you are, how comfortable are you just saying like, yeah, I'm Peruvian or, or I'm Hispanic? Oh, 100%. And, and how comfortable are you saying like, yeah, I'm Italian? 100% for that too. Uh-huh. So both, right? Yeah. Like that connection. Mm-hmm.